Hi, my name is Valerie Trifler, and I'm the Director of Organization Development at Questrade Financial Group. Questrade is an award-winning digital alternative to traditional banks that is changing the Canadian financial services industry. At Questrade, we use cutting-edge technology to deliver innovative products and empower Canadians by giving them better, more affordable ways to take control of their money. Questrade is a great place to kickstart your career. We offer rich learning experiences and opportunities for interns. We hire for several departments, such as engineering, technology, customer experience, operations, marketing, and more. In my role, I have the privilege to work on initiatives that have a positive impact on our people's development. So the topic of feedback is particularly of importance to me and something I'm really passionate about. Without feedback, we can't get better. This might sound cheesy, but I really do view feedback as a gift. Difficult conversations happen all the time in both your professional and personal life. Earlier in my career, I may have avoided them at times, but learning from experience, it's best to address them head on. In most cases, if you don't say anything, the problem may actually get worse. So if you check your mindset and try to view the upcoming conversation as a learning conversation, rather than preparing to battle, it becomes a lot more easier to deliver. The first thing to remember is to leave your emotions at the door. Your meetings should always be fact-based. I know this sounds easier said than done, but if you're emotionally charged, wait a day or even two so you have time to reflect and prepare for that meeting. A feedback model that I find extremely helpful is called the SBI model. It was developed by the Center for Creative Leadership and stands for Situation, Behavior, Impact. The first step is to describe the situation. Be specific about when and where it occurred. On Wednesday, during a regular project check-in meeting. Next, describe the observable behavior. Keep it to the facts. Don't insert opinions or judgments. For example, instead of saying you aren't reliable, that would just cause the receiver of the feedback to be defensive. Give specific examples of when they didn't deliver something. Conclude by describing the impact of their behavior. Because I didn't receive the, your research on time, I was blocked on my work and couldn't move forward. The SBI model really helps you prepare for any difficult conversation. Preparation is the key step to delivering effective feedback. Next time you have to prepare for a difficult conversation, grab a blank piece of paper and write down situation, behavior, and impact, and jot down a few key points under each heading. So remember, feedback is a gift. Without it, we can't get better. A few years ago, I received a 360 review feedback, and part of the process is your direct reports provide you with feedback. One of my direct reports gave me a perfect score, while others gave me lower ratings in certain areas that they felt I could improve. Whose feedback do you think I actually learned something from? I know no one is perfect, so I was quite frustrated by the perfect score. So for me, it was the individuals who actually took the time to provide me with comments and assess my skills using various ratings. This helped me understand where I can focus my development efforts. So I recommend you regularly share both positive and constructive feedback with the people you interact with regularly. Remember to always prepare. And as you gain more experience with SBI, it will come more naturally to you. When it comes to receiving feedback, you shouldn't wait for feedback to be given to you. You should request it actively. Actively requesting feedback shows you are a continual learner with a growth mindset. 